Hello everyone and hi loves, welcome to my channel. Um, so today is going to be the get to know me YouTube tag. Um, this is perfect for everybody that's going to be watching my videos to get to know me a little better. So the first one, what is your full name? So my full name is Susa Garcia Alamillo. Let's see, where do you live? So I'm currently living in Las Vegas, but I was born and raised in San Diego. Go San Diego, I love San Diego. I miss San Diego, the weather, but I love Vegas here. I've been living here, it's gonna be about seven months that I've lived here. So, so far so good. Okay. Where are your parents from? So, I grew up with a single mom, so my mom raised me and my sisters. Um, with that being said, I have three sisters. Um, so my mom was born in East LA, so she is from LA. So I have three sisters, and with me, it's four of us, so we're all girls. Yeah, I know, I always wanted a brother, but it didn't happen. So the oldest, um, her name is Melissa, she is 32, she'll be 33 in a couple months. The next one is Janet, she is 31, she's going to be 32 this year. And the, then it's me, so I am currently 29, I'll be 30 this year, my dirty 30, oh my god. And then my little sister, which she's 24. What is your biggest regret? So my biggest regret, I don't have anything. Why? Because with that regret, it actually made me more stronger. Um, I learned my lessons. I I learned from them. So I so I won't make them again. So I don't have any regret because it made me who I am today. And I'm glad for the people that came in and out of my life. Yes, I do. I have three chihuahuas. Funny story, um, I didn't grow up in, a ha in my house with dogs. And I actually was scared of dogs. Um, I was scared to a point when they would get closer, I would get scared. But, funny story, um, it, it was one time me and my boyfriend, we were, he was working with his car in the driveway. And we saw a dog just pass by. It was my the chihuahua that we have now. Um, she was just like surrounding our driveway and we're like oh my god look it looks like she's been abandoned because it looked like she hadn't eaten it looked like she it looked like she was hungry she was kind of like skin fragile so it comes up to the name that we named her her name is Pasta because that's the first thing we gave her. We didn't have no, no dog, so we didn't have no dog food to feed her. So we gave her Pasta and that's how we knew our dog Pasta. So I have any tattoos. Um, I do want to get some in a couple years. I want to get a little one, but I do want something that is significant to me. I don't want to just get a random tattoo. I definitely want to get something that means to me that is gonna be with me for forever. What was your first job? So my first job was in retail store. Um, my sister used to work at Tommy Hilfiger at the outlet. So when it was Black Friday, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. So it's when the store opened at midnight, um, a day before Thanksgiving, and they have a bunch of sales. So that was my first job. Um, I was the girl in the watch sections and the watches. So that was my only job right there. So that was my first job. It was fun. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is losing my closest family. Um, losing my mom because she did a lot for us to be where we are right now in our life. She did everything she can as a single mom, as a single parent, to give us everything. Our childhood was amazing. Um, so my 
biggest fear is losing her because if I don't have her, I don't have nobody. Uh, it's left the most impact in your life. I think it's my boyfriend. He has impacted my life for the better. Um, we've been together for 11 years. No, we're not married. No, we don't have kids. I became independent when I used to rely a lot on my friends to go anywhere. Um, he got me into the hotel industry, which I learned so much. And and that's how I started my career, you know, because he, he pushed me. He made me more stronger. So I feel like he has impacted me so much, but for the better. Describe yourself in a single sentence. Ooh. I am very nice. feel like it's a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing is I get along with everybody, so it's a good thing, but the bad thing is I it's hard for me to say no. I'm such a nice person that it breaks my heart even though I know I shouldn't, but it's just the way I am. What are some bad habits? Um, being on my phone, that's a bad habit. Um, I do realize it takes a lot of your day but that's one bad habit I have it's just I can't be without my phone I gotta have it everywhere your most embarrassing moment honestly I can't remember an embarrassing moment but there was one time um, we had a corp uh, Christmas party with co-workers and we were all there and then there was this server because back then I used to work at a restaurant I was a hostess so there was some server a server came in and I asked her what are you doing here and she's so like what do you mean you invited me and I was like oh my god I totally forgot I had invited her but I thought that was so embarrassing I always have the most awkward embarrassing moments who is the first person you call when something exciting happens my boyfriend of course or my mom and my sisters if anything, I always let them know what's going on in my life now that I live all the way here in Vegas. When did you suffer your first heartbreak? My first heartbreak... I was 15. Um, and I was... Yeah, I was 15. He was 17 going to 18. He was cute. He was like my first love. And we went out for like two weeks. Then I found out he cheated on me and my heart was so heartbroken. And it was one time where it was my cousins, me and them. You know, if you're Mexican, you know you you be drinking way young age. So so we had a little get together and I got drunk off of Smirnoff. <laughs> Smirnoff with my cousins and I started crying and I started how could he do this to me? I loved him. Cheated on me, and all my cousins were all mad. They were like, "Don't cry for no guy. Don't ever cry for no guy." So yeah, that was my first heartbreak. It was sad. <laughs> okay. So that's just a little bit about me. Um, I want to create this channel, this YouTube, for everybody. I want to do a little bit of everything, do makeup, lifestyle, traveling, blogs, um, and mo most and foremost, I want to inspire, I want to inspire anybody, I want to inspire girls that do what you want to do, you don't have to be perfect, you don't have to have a perfect skin to like makeup, you don't have to be fit to be a, a, a trainer, you I want to inspire those girls to do what you want to do because we only live once and you gotta enjoy life. You gotta forget about the negative. And first and foremost, I want this to be a positive channel. Um, and I want to inspire those girls out there with the same issues as I have. I want to inspire them that you can still do your makeup. You could still do whatever you like. You don't have to hide behind this show. Um, backstory to that is I started getting acne when, when in my 20s, 
funny is it started when I was 23. I started breaking out so bad. Um, I had perfect skin throughout high school, even after high school, and it started when I was 23. Um, I wish, the only thing I wish was that I have, I wish I could have went to a dermatologist early on, but the easiest thing for me was, oh, pick your, pick your pimples, pick them. I didn't want to go out. A lot of times I didn't want to go out with friends, family gatherings because I felt like I was being judged. I, I felt embarrassed. Like, look at her skin, it's not perfect. But I want to be happy. I don't want to live my life day to day being sad that I have acne scars. They're there for a reason and and I'm good at what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep doing that. So I want to encourage you guys suffering from anything I want you to see my channel and be like if she can do it I could do it too so and so thank you guys so much and please subscribe to my channel I want to see more it's just a little get get to know me so thank you so much whoever subscribe make sure you hit the notification button and a like give a thumbs up if you want to see more from me and my adventure here in Vegas.